Whoa. It is a beautiful day here in Delaware at the creeks. Dude, on the way over here, I'm not even joking, I probably sneezed like 10 times. I'm trying to acclimate to this Delaware pollen. It's swirling around here, it's shooting up my nostrils. This is gonna be the first time that we are fishing this creek since we've been back here to Delaware. This place looks pretty good. And the cool thing about this is that there's a possibility of there being some trout in here. So possibly I saw some when I went over that bridge with the polar ice. So I don't know, there's like, Decent sized fish though. I can't tell if they're trout or what they are. We got stuff in the bag. We've got a rod and reel. We've got a dream Let's see what the heck we could do. Hopefully we can get something to eat possibly maybe But yeah, man, have a nice relaxing Delaware Creek fishing kind of day. Appreciate y'all for coming on this adventure. Let's get to it. Whew, all right <laughs> We're gonna try not to sneeze here for a second. I'm telling you all the way it was like clip after clip after clip I was unloading them. So here we go. If you guys have not seen the last video This is our new little creek set up here for summer 20. 23 this is just a nice little ultralight rod and on here we have four pound fluorocarbon super light line and this is just the rig again that we are going to be running right now this is tiny tiny little split shot y'all could probably barely see that and a tiny mega tiny little size 12 hook <laughs> oh it's like smells like honeysuckles and straight pollen it's that good good smell out here man also today we brought out some of these ogs if you guys didn't see the last video, I would highly recommend checking it out. We stopped at a creek and um, actually caught some pretty decent sized Delaware Creek fish, which hopefully we can do today. But that kind of got us like back in the swing of things a little bit. Today we are going to seriously, like I, I'm down to catch whatever. Like you never know what the heck you could do. But I, dude, if we could hook into a trout, that would be so cool. If you guys don't know, here in Delaware, these trout are not native. They're actually stocked in the spring and in the fall i believe this body of water they're stocked like not here but up the stream and they're stocked in the spring so they have time to just kind of like hopefully survive if they make it through all the anglers that you know that people clean out these creeks pretty quick and if they make it through the conditions and if they you know become one with nature they can survive kind of throughout almost the whole summer here so it'd be pretty cool to see what we could do i'm gonna just throw this out there see a bunch of dude this is this is why i love freaking creek fishing man especially there's something big right here first cast over by these rocks hopefully we don't get snagged up but this is why i love creek fishing you never know what could be down here man we got some interest of some smaller stuff come on somebody eat that Oh, eat it? Oh, yoinked it out of his mouth. There's like a bunch of fish right here where I'm freaking casting this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> First fish of the day on the little ultralight. Boom! You cannot go to Delaware Creek and not catch one of these. Oh, you can, I guess it'd just be very hard, especially in the summer. These dudes are like the heartbeat of the creek. So much fun to catch. Might just look like a sunfish, but it's more than that. It is a red breast sunfish. You know, another thing I think is kind of interesting is this creek is honestly like, like these fish, this is a chilly fish, dude. For almost being like summertime, that, you know, it's pretty chilly, look at that. Beautiful colors. Things are aggressive. They are feisty and they're just underrated. I will say that till the end of time Those are some underrated freaking fish. Look at this. We got a little butterfly dude hanging out with us. Oh, all right One species down That's one that we could possibly take home and catch a cook too. I just kind of want to see our options here All right, hopefully we didn't spook everybody. That was a cast close. I Think oh man, where were they? I saw some bigger fish that looked like they were looking upstream to feed Frick. Let me see if I can get this out here further. Might need to put another split shot on, but uh, yeah, that wasn't too good. I swear there's some trout down there or something bigger. Out in the middle of the stream, just kind of looking up. Hopefully looking to feed. I'm getting bit. Oh. There you go. There you go. Second fish of the day. <laughs> Yeah, we might run into a couple of these guys today. They are definitely, probably, for sure gonna be abundant. Boom. Second little red breast. 
Get out of here. Hey, can you, can you throw him off the other side, maybe? There we go. All right, we, it looks like we're gonna have to weed through these dudes a little bit. By no means, I don't own the water here, but this is not the first time. Like, this has happened a couple different times when I've been fishing. There's like children, and they're like with their parents too, or whoever's watching them, but. They like throw rocks in the water right where you're fishing. And then the parents are just sitting there like watching little Johnny freak up the fish. Like, why? Why? Again, I mean, there's not like any law. I don't own this water, but come on. Come on, lady. Come on. All right, let's try to catch some more fish. Hopefully they're not all freaking terrified now. <laughs> and I mean, y'all know that there's way worse problems in the world. It's not something to... Think too much into but when you like lock eyes with the parrot too and then several rocks go in the water that it's like what is what is actually what is good here one of my favorite parts about this creek fishing though y'all hear those like bird sounds and then over here there's like a little babbling brook just the relaxingness all right i think i'm gonna put another split shot on here and try to get this out there more really bomb it See what the depths are hiding. I see there's a couple of different types of fish here in the shallows. Besides, it just seems like these red breasts are super hyper aggressive, but I see a couple different types of bass, it looks like. Oh, see, no, that looks like a freaking, that looks like a trout out there, dude. All right, let's get geared up. I'm gonna put another split shot on here just so we can cast this out a little bit more. All right, we are geared up. Got a thick piece of worm on, two split shots. That's not where I wanted it to go. Something's going after that. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, can you guys like... Look. I understand, we got a thing, right? Y'all are, are cool. You look like you're almost pregnant, to be honest. Thick belly, maybe you're not feeding up. Like, just chill. Tell, tell the homies to chill out for a second. Oh my gosh, I got something good. We got something good on here. Is that a trout? No, okay. Thought it was for a second. Maybe this is some of those fish that I see down there. This is a good size one though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wet my hand. Boom, come here buddy. What we got? Whew, this is another real nice, I need the pliers. It's not too deep. There we go. Solid fall fish. Like real nice. Let me give y'all a good look real quick. And boom. It's a really nice one. Where's that lighting at? There we go. Oh. Whoops. There it goes. Did not mean to do that. All right, well, there's other big fish down there. That wasn't even one of the big ones, honestly. That was like a mid big one. Hopefully we didn't spook all of them. There's like actually some really good sized fish. I thought it was a big, I don't even know. It looked like a big smallie, then it was like a big trout sort of thing. There's a bunch of these uh, sucker fish too. It'd be cool to hook into one of those. Try not to break ourselves here. All right. Yeah, right there. Dude, that's either a giant smallmouth. You guys definitely can't see it, but, or it's a trout. 
It is huge. I, I think that's a smallie. Kind of cast it near him. See, it kind of spooks him when you do that. Again, too, if that is a trout, I can't tell. But uh, these fish have been in there, you know? It's just they, they're super, like, like, these are the survivors. They didn't survive for no reason. Like, they're smart, dude. That's why you got to use really small hooks, really light line. And even then, they'll sometimes, like, look at that and they'll be like, that's not flowing down the creek the right way. They yeah. survived for a reason. There's a squad of bigger fish right out here in the middle. I can't tell what those are. Be cool to catch like if that is as much a sucker fish i would love to catch a big one it's been a while since i've caught a sucker oh somebody's going for that two are checking it out they just oh my god that one is huge oh my god did i just get bit oh no bro i just got slurped See, they're interested until you really give them a reason not to be. I don't think I spooked them there. Oh my god. I'm hooking everything but the freaking fish. There we go. That was a dot. Right on the freaking money. Come on, something to eat that. Drifting over all these big, big things. You know what, too? There's some fish right here in front of me. I'm gonna try to lower this down to them. Oh my gosh, that breeze feels so good. I don't even know what the temperature is out today, but it is like perfect. Like it's a cool breeze. Let me see real quick. We're working with a nice 71. Beautiful tab. We got that nice breeze going. Just waiting for something to chomp this. I'm not mad though. Got some nice fish so far. Oh my god. Dude, I was changing my GoPro. I didn't realize he freaking... Okay, let's get this dude up here. <laughs> oh boy. It's right in his mouth right there. He was kind of swimming around. Didn't even put up a freaking fight. Super weird. He was like swimming in circles down there. I just had my bait right down near all these sucker fish. Boo! Of course I had to change the battery. Apparently right when he bit. Whoa, wait, what the? This is weird. All right, something's weird here. I think this dude, he might have been shot with a bow or something. I wonder if people do that around here. Look at this. He's a clear hole through his side. You see that right there? I was debating on possibly keeping this guy. I don't think I'm going to now. Look at that mouth too. It's the vacuum just sucks up anything on the bottom. I just put a freaking worm down there and I was like, all right. Oh my gosh, I see a big fish swimming right there. I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe they'll bite it when I'm changing the GoPro battery. Good you, buddy? Let me know. Reviving a sucker fish. <laughs> Look how freaking clear that water is though. All right, I think he's good. That's a nice size one though. I mean, that's almost bigger than some of these trout that they stock. That's a really quality sucker i don't know how much life he's got in him i mean he was eating but got a hole in his freaking side that is a warrior if i ever seen one all right appreciate you bud sorry that you're yeah that was weird let me know down in the comment section below i don't know i think that hole has to be from somebody shooting him right i would hope whoever is doing that too if anybody is isn't just doing it to just clear the creek of them or anything like you're actually taking them to eat because they're actually if you guys haven't seen like years and years and years ago i did a catch and cook and those things are actually pretty freaking tasty i'm not even gonna lie i guess that's one of the things if you know you are bowing you don't hit the right spot it could be damaging or people just release them which i would hope you don't just 
hit them and release them, but I guess people do what they do. Seems kind of messed up. Oh, we could at least uh, catch a broken fish. Oh, it happened again. I got him. There we go. There we go. What is that? Is that another one? A little bit more fight there. All right, come here. Oh, no. Rip. Well, that's probably just spooked everybody. That was a really nice size one. Another sucker. It's like hit or miss with these dudes. They're pretty smart. And if they kind of just like get a glimpse, I think, of anything not correct, then they'll just have that worm right next to their mouth, but they won't actually vacuum it in. That was my fault right there. I don't I I goofed. There we go. There we go. What is that? What is that? Okay, it's another one of these. Came right at it, dude. I thought that was a freaking trout. Right. Another fall fish. That pooped on me. Get out of here. All right, well, you know what? I just spent probably a couple hours here off camera. There, I'm pretty sure there's a big old trout swimming around here. And then under the bridge, couldn't tell what it was. It was feeding on top. And there was definitely a trout. I like zoomed in on my phone. How do I get down here? Oh, bad. But uh, yeah, we've done a lot of fishing today. They just are very weird. Like I bet you if I had my fly rod and some flies, we might be able to do a little something. Let me try something here. Being as it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid these guys a little bit. Get this dude up not freaking snap them off all right i mean we've had a pretty successful day to be honest a couple different species we got some good size stuff and i think just to break the ice here oh geez in the state of delaware we're gonna take this dude home do a little catch and cook gotta get like warmed up back in the whoa delaware stuff boom that's a nice size one too right in the side of the mouth these dudes are super aggressive it's like get them a worm anywhere near the freaking eyesight bop uh, you know what? I feel kind of bad. This dude, I'm gonna let go. Might be like, why? There was a, uh, he was with another one. And the other one came up and looked at me. I felt bad. You can catch a different one though. Doesn't need to be like a super nice size one or anything. What the heck is buzzing on me? By the way too, I actually took my split shots off. I went down to one and then went down to zero because there's this trout. And it was just feeding on the top and I, every time no matter if I put one worm, two worms, little worm, blue worm, this freaking trout was like choom, swerving it. Come on, eat a little buddy. There you go. Launched him. All right, a little bit of a smaller size, but we are gonna be taking this dude home. Oh, geez, chill. Beautiful little red breast sunfish. And y'all already know the drill, man. Sheffer State, back in the first state. Let's get to it. Back in the outdoor kitchen with Sheffer State, back at my parents' house. We got the grill fired up yet again. It's actually the next morning. I don't know if you can hear these birds. They are chirping. I love those sounds, dude. Especially when you're down in the creek. It's just so freaking relaxing. Damn, man, I don't think I've ever done a catch and cook. That's a loud bird for the, like the next morning or even for morning at that. It's like breakfast time. So I'm just gonna throw this dude on the grill and we're gonna get the feast in it. And then after this, I'm gonna get to some more fishing and some more filming. Boom, close that. Hey, we'll be doing some fancier style cooks here too. I gotta sneeze again. Ooh, I'm just getting warm back up here. 
in the state. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just me, but the older I get, the more that I really respect the grill game. And think about it. To me, a lot of times this is a superior way of cooking because it's quick, it's easy, and you don't really have to clean anything up. You don't gotta like wash a bunch of dishes. One day when we get a house, the grill game is gonna be fire, dude. All right, and boom. A little bit charred. Probably doesn't look the most appetizing at the moment. We just put like a little S&P on there, just something slight. Again, you know, this is just something quick and easy. Best way to be one with the creek is to eat the creek. To be the creek, you must be the creek. All right, here's a tiny on-camera taste. Now that tastes like Delaware. We are officially back, baby. I'm gonna pick this too clean. Then we're gonna get to some more fishing. Hopefully y'all tune in for that video. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see it. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for all the support. All I gotta say, man. This is just a message to all Delaware fish. You better watch out. You wanna know just where